Hello everyone. So welcome back to Bharat Insights. Today I bought an interesting video for everyone who wants to start their journey on this visualization tool called Microsoft Power BI. This is an interesting video if you are a beginner or if you are an experienced person as well. I have tackled few of the challenges during the installation as well. So I'm going to talk on that uh, in, the, in the later part. So before that, let me introduce myself. So I'm a Microsoft MVP. I have eight plus years of an experience and I'm also a content creator uh, on LinkedIn with around 55,000 followers. So before, you know, getting into that topic. So first, let's understand what exactly this Power BI is all about. So Power BI is basically a visualization tool and, and the part of business intelligence. And the owner is, as you know, Microsoft. OK, so today in this video as a base level, so we will start from the installation steps, you know, during the installation, what challenges you will be facing and the setup and followed by the next steps as well. OK, so but when you are an experienced person, let's say if you are in the project, sometimes you know your client will use different months of the version. So every tool will have you know, monthly updates. So right now I'm shooting this video in the month of March. Okay. So I, I am currently using the month of February version Power BI desktop tool. But in the projects, uh, you have been working that project around six months back. So probably, you know, July or an August 2024 version, the client may be using it. And you, if you want to take over that project, but you are using, you know, February version, but you want to download the previous months of the Power BI. So that would be a challenge. So today I'm going to tackle that for everyone. OK, so we'll we'll go through the installation of Power BI desktop and which is totally free. You don't need to pay anything, any uh, any money to anyone in this website. So which is totally free. OK, so as I mentioned, you know, if you want to download August 2024 version, uh, how you can download the previous, you know, released versions of this Power BI. And if you want to download June or if you want to download G December 2023 version or if you want to download November 2024 version, is that possible? The answer is yes. So Power BI usually will release monthly updates, you know, at the end of the or mid of the weeks. So whatever the developments being done in this Microsoft Power BI business intelligence tool, they will consolidate everything and they will release this monthly updates. You as a Power BI developer, you should able to track all these monthly updates uh, that would be helpful for your projects as well okay so without getting any delay so we'll do that in the three steps so the first step is a downloading of this microsoft power bi desktop and installation and setup then we will see the interface and the overview of this uh you know microsoft power bi so so usually we'll be opening a new tab okay i'll i'll type power bi uh download Okay, I'll be typing and that's why Power BI Desktop download. So you could see this first link download Microsoft Power BI Desktop official and I'll be pasting all these links in the video description. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. So I'll be starting a series of explaining this Power BI for sure for everyone. So you could see here after scrolling it down a download option and before downloading, just make sure to ensure what is the date published. So it is showing the month of second in the sense February month version. Uh, if you are clicking on this download button, so if it is asking which is the version you want to download, which is a file. So always choose uh, 64.exe and click on, you know, download. So I am installing the latest version, which is currently available in this Microsoft uh, released Power BI. So I think my file is getting downloaded. Uh, it will take like, you know, a couple of minutes for me to download. Sometimes, see, as I mentioned, this is the month of February. There may be certain cases for me. I want to download the previous monthly, you know, updates. So in that case, so there is a link. I'll I'll upload this link in the video description. So previous monthly updates to Power BI Desktop. So I'll I'll go through this. So it is important factor to consider. So this is for the month of January update. Okay, if you scroll it down in the month of January, what updates have been added in this tool? So copilot and reporting and uh, modeling. There are a few updates have been added data connectivity, visuals and other. So if you want to download this, like what has happened? So there is a video also available. So what was the file you want to download January 25? Just click on this January 2025 version Power BI desktop. So 64 bit. Once you are clicking on this, Currently, Jan file would be downloaded for you. And if your client is also using Jan 2025 and you want to use the same version, you can suggest this method of downloading it. And let's say sometimes you, I want to go to, you know, previous month, let's say maybe uh, 2024 previous any months, uh, probably kind of an August. So I'll scroll it down. Yes, you could see here August 2024 update. I want to install this file in my PC, in my machine. OK, so here also I could see a few updates, monthly updates like modeling, new visuals have been added. And if I want to download this, I can simply click on August 2024 version Power BI Desktop. 
Okay, so if I'm clicking on this again, my August version would be downloaded. Similarly, if you scroll back again and you could see a lot of lot of previous month updates. And if you want to install that, you can go. So this is one of the real time situation usually faced by, you know, Power BI developers. Uh, the client would be using the previous version, but in your machine, once you are using this Power BI for the first time, a latest Power BI would be downloaded. If you want to upgrade your Power BI, you can use this link. If you want to degrade your Power BI version also, you could use this link and you can go back to previous, uh, you know, uh, older version of this Power BI. So if you scroll down the keep on, it keeps on increasing like February 2024, scroll it a bit and you could see the links to download. Okay. And like that, like that, the list goes on for you to download all the previous years of this updates. And if you want to see what was happened in that month, you could see like in this month, there are a few options available like reporting. There are a few options released for modeling. Similarly, data connectivity. So this is highly important for every Power BI developer to track their updates and also to download all that, you know, latest and the older versions as well. So I, I hope I'll, I'll be copying and pasting this link for everyone in this video description and also comment on this video what kind of next Power BI series you, you are expecting from my side so that I'll be planning to release a lot of videos as a series in Power BI in my channel that would be helpful. So I just crossed 1000 subscribers on my YouTube. I want to thank everyone for supporting me in this journey and uh, you know also subscribe to this YouTube channel and you know hit the bell icon to not miss any notification from my side. So uh, let me see, I think the file is still getting downloaded. So the installation part is also very easy. Uh, right now I'm downloading, as I told, uh, I'm downloading this, you know, Power BI desktop for the January month. And if you want to do the previous months, you can do this. So I'll be covering in three steps. So first step is to downloading and second step is to installation. And the final step is to interface and the over files. So let me use this search bar and type Power BI desktop. So Firstly, I wanted to show, do I have any Power BI existing in my file? So I just type Power BI desktop and, you know, uh, unfortunately the file is not available. So it means there is no file installed on my PC. So now without further delay, I want to go back to my download files. Yes, the file is downloaded. Let me click on this 64 bit. Okay. So once I click on the 64 bit, I could see uh, a new pop-up would be coming for me and the pop-up will open the setup process automatically uh, to install all the packages, all the libraries into my uh, machine. And the steps are very easy. You don't need to customize anything. Uh, as a first time, it will take, you know, like 30 seconds to 45 seconds for that file to get loaded in your machine. And it will take that amount of time. So it is asking me like this Power BI uh, desktop 64-bit version. So this is a kind of a window. Just click on next uh then you want to allow changes in this device the answer is yes so once you are clicking on two steps like first step is to click on next and second step is to click on allowing that power bi file to install in your machine so these are the two steps you need to do and after that it will take some time to load to enable that file in your you know local machine okay so make sure you are installing the 64 bit uh, you you won't be facing any installation is issues uh, sometimes the 34 uh, 32 bit is also uh, yeah, it's fine but in some of the mission you might you might face some installation issues if you are facing any installation issues uh, uninstall the previous downloaded file just install the 64 bit so now it's asking me to click on next no need to click do anything just accept the license agreement just click on next again and click on next where is the path it's the final step is to install so it will, the status bar will load for a certain amount of time for validating and installing all the libraries. So once this step is done, uh, uh, your Power BI file is readily used for your analysis. So this is one of the top most business intelligence tools uh, being used by a lot of companies that is nothing but a Power BI. So the reason being, it is, it is obviously followed the Microsoft you know, architecture and uh, you know Microsoft interfaces like let's say if you're using Microsoft Excel so Excel to Microsoft Power BI the, the interface uh, would be easy and if you are using SharePoint SharePoint is also a part of Microsoft the connecting SharePoint to Microsoft Power BI is easy apart from other business intelligence tools okay so anyway there are a lot of business intelligence tools available in the market but why Power BI is a preferred choice I'll be releasing a next video why exactly you need to learn Power BI and what is a job market available in Power BI and if you are learning Power BI what kind of better roles you can apply uh, in the current industry. So all that uh, kind of a related videos I'll be going to upload and shoot on this. 
okay so it is done and it is asking for finish so let's just click on finish and uh, we are done with the installation so you could see power bi is opening automatically this is how the logo of the microsoft power bi business intelligence tool looks like for everyone i think you need to remember how excel means excel logo you could remember similarly power bi this is this is how the power bi logo looks like so let it open and yes so we are done with the first step called installation downloading and six two steps are completed so this is how the landing page of the microsoft power bi business intelligence tools looks like so you can simply click on blank report so this is a main architecture it is for the first time it is asking which mode you want to use so let me uh, you know cancel this if you want to use modes you can choose that so this is how the interface of the power bi looks like for you uh, i i'll be starting a journey of explaining all the features in the cup upcoming videos but yeah this is this is the downloading and installation and how you can load the data how you can do basic transformation how you can build an end to end dashboard real time if you want just let me know in this video comments i'll i'll try to shoot that you know i'll upload for you as well so if you are watching till the end subscribe to my youtube channel and you know like this video so that it will motivate me to do a lot of videos and uh, yes uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this installation video uh, if you are having any other doubts do let me know in the comment section happy to answer all your questions looking forward to it thank you so much